Hi guys, Matt Horspool here. Welcome to another review, this time on the new Surui Carbon Fiber ST125 tripod and the ST10X ball head. Now, first of all, disclaimer, I am a Surui ambassador, as you may have known uh, from many of my other Surui videos. Surui aren't paying me to do this review, so they're not even going to be seeing this review before I post it. So all opinions that I state in here are purely my own. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm an adventure travel photographer that doubles in uh, all types of photography and videography. And I've been a Surui ambassador now for maybe four or five years and absolutely love all of their equipment. Uh, there's a reason that I am with them because I think that they are some of the best in the world and make amazing quality uh, gear. But that being said, no, no piece of equipment is perfect. So hopefully I can uh, give you my honest opinions on what I think of this tripod. Now, if you are keen to uh, hear more reviews about tripods, gear, video, photo, particularly stuff with Olympus, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or give us a thumbs up. Uh, it really will help uh, build this very small channel, but it's uh, so far it's been really, really good. Um, the, my last review of the Surui W2204 tripod uh, was one of my best, uh, most watched videos. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description up here, I think. Uh, so go check that one out. It was like my first video, so it's pretty rough. So hopefully this one's a little bit different and I'll try and keep this one much shorter. So for anyone who's been watching any of my videos, you'll know that I've actually been, what, while I do use tripods, I don't use them that much anymore. And that's not because I don't like them. Um, it's because I do shoot Olympus and they have such amazing in-body uh, image stabilization that I've not needed to take a tripod with me for every single shoot. That being said, I do take a tripod a lot of the time with me, and especially now I'm shooting a lot more video, uh, not only with the Olympus, but with the Blackmagic 4K and the 6K Pro. And those video applications, I do require a tripod in uh, some situations. So this tripod, I think, uh, as you'll see, I think it might really fit into my camera bag as a staple piece of equipment. Now I've just noticed that my microphone is in, so I'm gonna lift that up for you. Perfect. So I apologize for this review coming a little bit later than the others. What actually happened is Surui sent me a pre-production model um, maybe two months ago, and one of the little pins, uh, the little uh, pin that goes into the tripod head was actually bent when it arrived, and when I was using it, it actually snapped, and the camera almost fell off the tripod ball head. So I said, well, I don't think you necessarily want me to review uh, the tripod and ball head now, so maybe send me a, a an actual production model when it arrives. I'll give it a run um, a run through and and then I'll give my honest review. So that being said, it did snap, but Surui have assured me that that is, uh, has been addressed and the new production models that you would be receiving uh, won't have that issue. So I'm very, very fortunate that being a Surui ambassador, I have had the chance to use a wide variety of tripods. So I've got this one, I have the the big video bad boy with the VH10X um, uh, fluid head on there, which I absolutely love. We'll talk about that one later. I have the W2204, which uh, is the waterproof version that I originally reviewed. It was my first Rui tripod and I absolutely loved it. Uh, but I don't use it too much now because it's actually just too big and heavy. And I have my trusty uh, A1205 tripod with the Y11 ball head carbon fiber. This was my travel tripod and has pretty much gone around the world with me. Um, very, it's simple, but gee, it's been good, for, especially for Olympus cameras. Not so much now for my video work. I haven't really used that because it's not quite sturdy enough, but it's so light and, and small, but we'll talk about that soon. So I feel that I'm in a pretty good position to comment on where this new tripod and ball head fits within uh, the Surui ecosystem and in my line of work. So it may not be uh, your type of photography or videography that it will work with, but it certainly, uh, I can give them an opinion on how it works with me. So tripod technology, it seems, hasn't really evolved in the past maybe five years, even 10 years. Tripods are still three legs. Uh, they usually have the twist style legs or the, or the tabs and that divides people, everyone likes different kinds of things. Ball heads are, well, really, it is just a ball that moves around. Technology hasn't really changed. 
there have been a, a couple of tripods that have been released in the past few years, namely the Peak Design, which was um, a super expensive tripod. It, has, uh, it was really um, pushed with a lot of famous ambassadors, which I think demanded the higher, higher price, but was it necessarily uh, worth it? Who knows, I haven't actually used it. Um, but they did introduce some pretty crazy technology, or not technology, but design characteristics that made it, well, different from the others. And that's namely the, uh, the compactness of when it's folded down and the size. Um, I believe most tripods are going to give you really sturdy um, images. I don't think um, uh, there is going to be a huge difference between one carbon fiber tripod to the other um, in terms of stability. Uh, when you at the level of these kind of tripods. Most of the brands are going to offer you a great level of stability. It's only the little features um, and the design characteristics uh, that make one better than the other and some will appeal to you, may not as well for others. Now around the world, Surui, uh, they, they name their tripods with different codes that can get a little bit confusing and it seems between Australia and the States and, and China, some of those codes don't necessarily match up with each other, which is what happens with a lot of brands. But basically, where this tripod fits into the line, it, it is a waterproof tripod, um, but it is not part of the W series, like the W2204 or 1205 tripods, um, even though it does share that waterproof uh, characteristic. So Surui really do have a pro line of tripods, which are quite expensive. Uh, they're, they are a lot heavier, but they're a lot more rigid and designed for uh, commercial applications. And that line is, I'm just gonna refer back to here, is the SR, R, RX, or N series uh, of tripods. I haven't actually used those yet, but this falls below those kind of tripods. So not necessarily ideal for travel, those larger ones. We then have the new range of AM and AM2 Traveler series tripods. Again, I haven't used those, they come in aluminium and carbon fiber, and those are really, really popular, I believe, but I haven't got to use those yet because, well, when you buy a tripod, it's kind of like an investment. You don't just keep buying new ones every year. Uh, technology doesn't change a great deal until this thing came along. Then we have like the N from the N2 series. Um, those tripods are like your entry level, uh, really good for like just someone who's just got a little point and shoot camera. Um, this, this tripod sits definitely above that. We also have the TA series, which is also a lightweight uh, entry level series, um, mostly in aluminium. Uh, and again, this tripod sits way above those. And then we have the SH, BCT, yep, and VHD tripods, like uh, my video tripod here. And those are video centered tripods and ball heads. So again, this one, well, this ball head is not designed for video, which can be used for it, but this tripod, as we'll talk about soon, does fit uh, perfectly into my style of video work. So what's the difference between the, the uh, ST125 and 124? Well, the name gives it away. The ST125 has five blocking sections in the leg and the top. So one, two, three, four, five. Whereas the ST124 only has Four. So the four and the five give it away. There's not much difference in between the models. I believe the ST124 does have a maximum uh, fully extended height of about 80 millimeters. That doesn't matter too much for me because I'm so short. I stand at about 171 centimeters. So this one actually is perfect for just above my eye level. So when Sarui actually uh, sent me the flyer for this tripod, I was like, well, I don't think I really want to do another tripod review. But when I looked over the specs at it and the design characteristics of it, I said, actually send it to me because I think this is quite interesting. Um, yes, it's the same uh, eight layer carbon fiber, which is designed to minimize vibrations. Again, as I talked about before, most of the tripods are carbon fiber these days in the top level. Uh, they're gonna minimize vibrations quite well. But what makes this one different is its footprint. Now this thing is tiny. I have tiny hands, but I can almost get my whole hand around this. And that is super, super handy for when you are traveling uh, or using a light bag and, and don't want something that has just, that just adds bulk to your bag or is really difficult to handle. And how they've done with this design is they've 
with the center column, they've given you a uh, triangular column, which they state uh, is is much stronger. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't tried to break it yet. Um, and it does extend. So if we have a look at some of the features around that, we have a normal quarter turn uh, leg locks. And what I've, I tend to like the, the tab locks for times when I'm using a monopod, which this one doesn't have, which is, we'll get into that in a minute. But what I do like about this is you can put a whole hand around all of them and extend them at once. So, and lock them at the same time. It's only a quarter turn and they move beautifully. And what they do have on the bottom now as well, I never used to use spikes when uh, out shooting, I always just use the rubber, um, mainly because I didn't want to have to bring the spikes with me, take the ends off and um, put the spikes in and then swap them over later. Particularly when you're working in like icy conditions, um, it would have been great to have, or rocky conditions, to have some spikes set um, uh, inside the legs. Lo and behold, these ones do. All you have to do is rotate them, and then we have spikes. Rotate them back. And honestly, I have no idea why I haven't seen these in tripods before. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, aside from the footprint, uh, you'll notice that this one doesn't have the uh, the foam around the legs. I wish it did because A, it provides a little bit of grip um, and B, when I put it in my backpack, it, I always strap the strap around that outside one so it doesn't scratch and mark it. With this new one though, I do, I have already started to get some marks on it because the strap was rubbing when it was inside my bag. It's just cosmetic, it's not going to cause any damage but uh, it would have been nice to have that. I believe though that they didn't put one on here because the idea is the form factor to keep things nice and slim. I found that the legs operate really, really smoothly. The uh, the little locking uh, clips now are, are a bit different than before, um, opposed from using the thumb push. These ones pull out and I find that they lock in really nice and they're so much easier to use than previously, which I used to find really difficult uh, to, well not really difficult, but tricky. Uh, when you're moving around quickly. These ones are fine so much better. You'll also find a, uh, a quarter 20 and 3 8 uh, screw hole here. I haven't really had a need for them. However, there have been occasions when I'm traveling that I will put a uh, my phone on the side um, on a little clip. So that could be good for uh, some BTS stuff or some time lapse. I think I will use that in the future. The tripod now features a hook that I find is actually usable now. It doesn't pull out with a uh, spring like the other models do. I found this one incredibly difficult and often painful to try and attach a bag to, especially getting the bag off when the bag is heavy. Uh, it was like your finger would get caught on the end of that metal uh, metal hook and it was a pain in the ass. But with this one, it's a manageable hook, it's solid, it stays on there and it's easier to get your bag in and out without hurting your finger. Um, I would be using a bag with this, especially when I'm doing my uh, video work. When I talked about before, this does now include waterproofing. Now, if you watch my W2204 uh, review, you'll see that I absolutely, not destroyed it, but I really did things to it that uh, you shouldn't do to your tripod. And, and that was to see how well the shims actually work to waterproof and protect the legs. So as you can see here, inside the leg, when I've unscrewed it, there's like a little brush here, or bush, or whatever you want to call it. And that there acts as the seal uh, to prevent water from getting inside the leg. So let me put that back in. And then there's also a rubber ring seal here uh, to stop water getting in there as well. So the idea with all ceroid tripods is that you don't undo them too much because water and, and sand can get in there. The idea is quarter turn, lock back. Quarter turn, put back here. And once you finish with it, then you rinse it in uh, fresh water before you push the legs into it. That's important because if there is sand and grit in there, stuff will work its way in there. 
Um, always try and blow it off, brush it off, uh, wipe it off before you lock the legs back in. That applies to anywhere working in sand dunes, uh, the ocean, snow, dirt, mud, you name it. So yes, it is waterproof. Uh, it does a fantastic job of keeping crud out, but you also need to look after it. And why wouldn't you? It's an expensive piece of equipment. So before I get onto the ball head, um, let me tell you what this also includes. The tripod comes with a bag, much like all the other Surui bags. It's uh, padded, it's, uh, it's a bag. <laughs> it comes with a strap, um, a side zip here, and put some goodies in. Uh, it does fit perfectly. This is not a tripod that you actually rotate and fold back onto itself and pull down. You use the tripod as is, oh, sorry, you store the tripod as is, and it fits in there perfectly. The bag's plenty of room. You could actually put a few more things inside it. Um, what I liked about some, what I normally do now is I take the bigger bag from my VH series, um, and then I can fit multiple tripods in the one bag. And this one being so small, um, diameter wise, you can actually fit it in quite easily with other tripods. So that's it, bag, done. Oops. All right, so the other part of this review is obviously the ball head. Now this thing is uh, a great looking piece of equipment. Uh, I talked about ball head technology being, uh, well, they're ball heads. But what a Surui have done with this ball head is not only created a beautiful uh, work of art, but something that is really, really functional. And especially with people shooting in social media uh, style um, orientations and that being portrait work, uh, I find that using a tripod uh, in portrait mode you know, to the side, if you want to make adjustments, then you have to try and adjust the ball head. But if that's already down far um, a lot there, you have to start to turn the camera and the ball head to try and move things. So what Suru we have done now has revolutionized the uh, ball head top plate thingy. And how that works is screw your camera into here on the Arca Swiss plate. And then you'll notice that there is also another knob. So with that, turn that knob, the top of this also rotates now. So I put my camera into position, lock it off. Okay, portrait, let's get a shot. Oh, hold on, I want, to reprodu uh, I want to aim up to the top, or I want to aim down to the bottom. Well, instead of having to turn the ball head, adjust everything, move the entire camera like that, we've got now a vertical pan. We undo our little knob there and this rotates. Now we went canyoning the other day and I took this and it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it sped things up, it was absolutely freezing and my mate was like blown away at how cool and easy this was to use in a situation like that uh, where we're all shooting more portrait work. Another thing that I really like about the ball head is the design of the knobs. Um, you'll notice with A1205 that they've just got just a normal round knob here, quite basic, um, which you'll find on a lot of uh, mid-level tripods, I guess, but also a lot of professional ones. And, that, and that's old school, I think. I, I did find that they were, they were good, but they weren't the best. And especially when you're tightening them. However, you'll see on the, this new tripod, they've got these wings on there, make it super easy to get, to undo and to lock on tightly. And that, that applies for all of the, the knobs that we can use, including this one here. I do find that there, now that there is one, two, three, four, five, six knobs on top of the ball head that it can get a bit confusing and it will take a little, it took me a little bit of time to, uh, uh, I had to stop and think about which one I was turning before I would uh, make adjustments to the camera because I was finding that I was actually making the wrong adjustment um, and the shot was missed. What I do like though is the most important thing is sometimes with the previous tripod, I would actually turn this one that holds the plate in and the camera could fall off because they all look the same. But with the, the new one, with the new ST10X, it is a vastly different locking 
uh, mechanism and it's pretty much impossible to mistake it with the others because uh, they, all the other knobs are completely different and this one is round and blue. Like most of the other cerebral tripods, this one can be converted uh, uh, upside down so you can do some low level shooting. Uh, you can also lower it extremely low. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> that is not going to, to really work there, but you can put the legs out here. You can also take this column out, I believe. You can also lower the tripod all the way down to here and use it that way. And that there is incredibly stable when you lock it on. Okay, onto some things that I don't like about the tripod, and I'm, to be honest, there isn't that many. Uh, I mentioned before the cold weather grip is now gone. The Arca Swiss head on there uh, is one of the smaller type. I wish that. I wish that it fit the, the larger um, tripod plate uh, that the VH10 actually uses, but this tripod and ball head actually wasn't really marketed towards uh, someone who might need that huge plate. This is the Surui's new mirrorless flagship uh, tripod, and that's what it's aimed for, uh, people who are using mirrorless cameras, um, which are generally a bit smaller. I know I mentioned before that I liked how the knobs were uh, had these little wings on there that could lock easier, but they do protrude uh, quite a bit. And you can see we talk about our form factor um, being one of the biggest selling points of this tripod, but the knobs actually protrude a fair bit more um, than, than the legs. But again, it's not a huge deal breaker. So what am I going to be using this tripod for? Well, as you know, I shoot adventure travel photography and I found that uh, on the recent canyoning trip, Taking this was, it was just so easy to have in my bag because it just really didn't take up much real estate. And we were throwing our bags around. My mate had his, uh, had his other Surui tripod in there and it was much wider and we are banging it and clanging it when we were uh, moving through caved areas and climbing up ropes. And it was, it was getting in the way, but this little tripod, while it did cop some uh, little scratches um, on the side, it was just so easy to put into a small backpack this is a tripod that can do it all. It is a mirrorless king. <laughs> I mean, all of these new uh, cameras these days are so light. They're, they've got incredible IBIS. Uh, this is an all-rounder that will fit into anyone's bag. And I'm just going to replace the A1205. I'm gonna just take this everywhere. This is a little bit heavier, but the, the stability um, and the characteristics of this far outweigh my need to bring A1205 and I can afford to have a few extra grams. Another thing that I am going to be using this for a lot and I have done it a little bit already is I'm actually going to be removing the tripod head as so and using this tripod as my video tripod. Now, of anyone who's seen this thing, the VHD 2004, uh, it's got a ball head on it, makes it super handy to use in big video situations. And I use this when I uh, do weddings or uh, filming with a really long telephoto lens. However, it is so big and heavy. So what I'm going to be now doing is unscrewing this, leaving the extremely large and heavy tripod. You can see how big this is home, screwing my VH10X onto the top, and there I have a super compact video tripod that I can take anywhere. It fits in the side of my bag. It's going to fit my black magic on there. It's going to fit all of my cameras on there. And it pops back to the center. How good is that? And the beauty of this tripod head is it actually isn't that much wider than the ST10X. Like, 
Yes, it is smaller, but because of the knobs on there, they're still pretty big. This thing now fits in the side of my bag. It's really compact, and that's a professional level uh, video tripod for you there. That is going to go with me everywhere. And it is sturdy enough, my friends, I'm telling you now, to fit this down here and up. It's going to be sturdy enough. to fit my 6K Pro onto the top. And this is what I'm going to be actually doing for weddings. I have this set up. I know you can't see that, but uh, now I can operate the camera straight from shoulder rig onto this tripod or handheld onto the tripod. Uh, and it's really just revolutionize the way I use a tripod. Often I will leave them at home um, because I just don't need to carry it or I just can't justify the weight. But now that I have this, uh, especially with the combination of this and the ball head or when I'm doing my photos, I mean, this is amazing. And it's so smooth and sturdy. Take that off, get shooting, put that down. Get my tripod set up, move it and it's so light game changer. So one last thing I wanted to touch on was when I first received this, I thought, bloody hell, this is a good looking tripod. I mean, it actually just looks professional, looks space age. Uh, Sarui have always been known to make uh, great looking tripods. I love the blue accents. Um, it just, apologies, the light just died because uh, I plugged me in and testing some batteries on my light. Anyway, Sarui make amazing looking gear and you actually feel like a professional when you're using this. I'm very proud to uh, rock it around. I know uh, looks don't always count for, for equipment, but this is a sexy looking tripod. So overall, should you get this tripod? Well, if you haven't got a tripod yet and you're leaning into having a tripod that can do everything uh, and you shoot mirrorless or even uh, DSLR, but maybe not using a 600mm lens, using up to a 70 to 200 or something even just a little bit bigger, I would 100% highly recommend this tripod. It is sturdy. The weight rating of it's incredible. This ball head weight rating is incredible. I mean, with that full uh, rig on top, it's nowhere near the weight rating, um, maximum weight rating of either of these pieces of equipment. If you already have another tripod like the W2204 and you're finding that it, it is a bit too big and cumbersome, sell it. Get this one. Like, I think this is probably the best tripod that Sarui has made in terms of versatility, uh, combination between lightweight, um, function, uh, aesthetics. It's just like I've, I've had all of them it seems and, and this one is just the best. So I'm going to wrap it up at that. I know I told you I'd keep it short because a lot of my reviews go for a long time. So hopefully this didn't go for too long. If you have any questions about this tripod, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them uh, as quickly as possible. As always, with all my videos, I'll leave a link to everything that I used in this video, including this tripod ball head, all the other tripods I use, uh, so you can check those out for yourself. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or the like button. It really does help uh, get this content out to more prospective viewers to help make educated decisions on their next piece of equipment. So I'll leave it at that. See you in the next one. Bye.